Good morning. China has strict export bans on many of the materials and metals that are critical for advanced weapons systems. Dual use means that its technology has both civilian and military applications, and it's a serious challenge for the Pentagon that so many of their supply chains run through China. Those are getting cut off, and that problem now drives American foreign policy. The need to source these materials from other countries or quickly ramp up production in the United States. Major weapons projects such as the F-35 fighter upgrade are being delayed because the Pentagon cannot get these four rare earth elements that are on China's export ban list. For China, this is a simple opportunity cost problem. Rare earth metals and magnets that go to Pentagon weapon systems are materials that are not available to modernize our own armed forces, even if we ignore whether it's a good idea in the first place. But an even bigger issue is that these materials now are in high demand in China's commercial and industrial sectors. China has functional monopolies on the mining and refining of rare earth metals, and those are now desperately needed for their own civilian projects. It's not simply a question of whether Chinese rare earth should be used to build new fighter jets for the United States, when China also builds fighter jets for its own army. It's that China builds everything else, and many of their biggest infrastructure projects also need them. High-speed rail and energy projects, for example, need as much as they can get. The Baotou Steel Union Company is in Inner Mongolia. That's a province of China, not the country. Inner Mongolia is home to over a third of the world's light rare earth reserves. This company builds 33 varieties of rare earth steel which dramatically improves the steel's quality, corrosion resistance, and weldability. Infusing rare earths into steel this way also makes the steel much more valuable. This is the daily spot price of Chinese steel in renminbi. By adding rare earth elements to the steel, Baotou steel can get an extra 3,000 renminbi per ton. So dividing that 3.6 billion B premium the company earns every year by that 3,000 per ton, BSU sells 1.2 million tons of rare earth steel, and their capacity now is 1.5 million tons per year. Over a million tons a year of rare earth steel is way more than enough to upgrade a bunch of fighter jet engines or build a new submarine for the Navy. But we can see the problem. If Chinese engineers wanted to build thousands of miles of new high-speed rail here in mainland China, or if other engineers needed to build railroads in Europe or elsewhere in Asia, rare earth steel is ideal for extreme cold. So it's in high demand by oil and gas engineers building pipelines across Siberia to hubs in North China. Over 60,000 tons are going to Tsitsang, Tibet, to build the world's biggest hydropower project. This is the serious challenge moving forward right here. The Pentagon is desperate for rare earth metals to build weapons systems, but it's not a priority for other industries because we don't have them. We don't have high-speed rail or new hydropower projects. The renewable energy industry is dead and buried in the United States. President Trump shut that down. So all these big plans from Washington and Wall Street, these investments in new mines for rare earth metals, all this is intended for one buyer. It's true that the Pentagon will buy all the rare earth steel in this instance that they'll need to get the F-35s back into the air, but that's all they're gonna buy. So there is a hard ceiling on the demand side for any of these new producers for rare earth applications. In the United States, the Pentagon is the only customer that they will ever have. Researchers in China's top universities, tens of thousands of engineers across China are at work right now developing new applications and new markets for their rare earths. So more companies can do just what Bao Tou Steel Union did for steel. 
take some steel, blend in some light rare earths, make it stronger, double the price, and sell it to railroads and renewable energy companies and to the Chinese military. This is Shaoxing, Donghu Lake. Be good. shine upon us so they see your good works and glorify